Hello everybody, today we're going to do an ASAP review on the 75345, the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. That's 119 pieces and retails for $20. This is a very good battle pack. Comes with four awesome clone troopers. Now we're going to be getting to the minifigures. Here we have the awesome clone specialist. Right off the back you see his awesome micro binoculars. They can obviously lift up, you can take them off, and this is a cl regular Battle First Clone Trooper helmet, which came in the battle pack. But obviously the new part is with the uh, the weird double ear holes. One is closed, one's open, obviously, for the accessory. And it just sucks. They should just have one ear hole, same thing on the other side. It just looks bad to a perspective, obviously, everybody's opinion. So you can see we do have the yellow markings there. Uh, awesome torso piece. We, this does come with um, blue arm here just regular blue arms so this is based on battlefront 2 the newest version he does not come with dual molded legs which is kind of sad but i mean it, legs are legs it does come with some blue so that's a little hope and he does come with a sniper rifle there just like in the file first battle pack so this is based uh, another one there so it's gonna be the file first clone specialist and here we have the file first clone officer he does come with the awesome blue rangefinder there the helmet is terrible as well with the two ear holes, but his uh, face is just a normal clone head and face, so nothing new there. But he does come with a all blue belt, which is very cool. No uh, arm printing or coloring, it's just plain white. He does come with a blaster pistol, and the camera there is printed. I wish they did come with a physical uh, cape because on the side there's nothing in the back as well, so it's kind of just plain. And we do also have waist printing, which is really cool. And then we do have leg printing with the camera going down and then some blue. And this is going to be the 501st Officer. And here we have a 501st Heavy Trooper. There's two that come in the set. So this is a really cool minifigure, obviously new. He does come with a blaster that Wrecker has in the set and then attached with binoculars. So that makes it a, you know, a heavy duty blaster, which is really cool. There's his satchel coming down the side of his torso. No blue belt. It's, it's you know, pretty exclusive for the officer. We have some blue there. And then coming out to the helmet, which is really cool. Here's his visor. We do have some blue markings over here, which is really, really cool. And the visor, you know, plain old visor that they've been using for a long time. It's just blue here. There they go, the double ear holes as well, uh, not that great. In the back, he does come with a backpack, which is pretty cool with the logo of the Republic, which is awesome. And then the back, you can see some, uh, like, uh, the satchel there with the belt. And then obviously the leg printing, the same as the Specialist Trooper. And this is going to be the 501st Heavy Trooper and the last of the minifigures. Here we have the awesome AV Cannon. It does come with a spring loaded shooter and the, all the cannon itself. And the spring loaded shooter you can obviously shoot off as so. Once I get the, there, you go. This um, AV Cannon can also move back and forth or up and down, sorry. It is a really cool little function. And then obviously the legs. It's very cool. They just use like a little slope piece there. Which is very unique for a Lego Star Wars set. And obviously holding it on the bottom on the little body. There's a clear round piece. A really, really cool model. Obviously you can bend the legs. You know, move them around. But it's not going to look the same. It's probably just going to look worse. Then you can also spread them out as well. So it can look like this. But obviously you won't want to display it like this. Because it'll look weird and not like the actual cannon. And obviously you can place a minifigure here. You can place anybody, even a, you can do the officer, the specialist, and then obviously the um, heavy trooper, which is advertised in the set. Just slide them in there like so, and then he'll be manning it. And the, uh, and the new um, seating, sorry, it's not catching it there, but the new seat, it's like that piece. So then it doesn't crack, I guess. If it were sitting down. But yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. And this will be the AV Cannon, which is awesome. Well, everybody, that's going to conclude our set review. This set is awesome. Retails for $20. I think you should pick this up. It's not going to be as popular as the Foul First Battle Pack because these are specialist 
um troopers obviously they have ranks instead of just being a normal clone trooper but it's a good pickup for that awesome specialist 501st clone trooper the officer is great as well as the heavy duty troopers uh, but obviously it comes with a new piece for um for like the 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 helmet and i will see you guys in the next set review with that cannon is also good